Hey everyone, it's Sandra, the Naked Chef, and we are going to fix breakfast. Yes, this is what I look like in the morning sometimes when I do my hair and shit. But we just got a good ass pussy licking, and um, I feel like waffles. It works up an appetite, you know. So, we're going to make Belgian waffles. I have a Belgian waffle baker over there. And in my cookbook, they're called sweet milk waffles, which I have no idea um, how much um, sugar is in sweet milk. But I'm just going to guess, because usually you use um, like sour milk or buttermilk, but for Belgian waffles you use sweet milk. And so, first you beat in well, we're going to make richer waffles, so we're going to use three eggs. And I am going to have a separate cup because for Belgian waffles, you separate your eggs and then you um, whip your egg whites and fold them in last. So that's what I'm going to do. You can separate them like this. You can use the shells and pass them back and forth to separate the eggs. Or you can do it my way. This one cracked really easy. I'm afraid of getting shell in there because that was a really easy shell to crack. And I just let it flow through my fingers. Just like that. Until all the uh, yolk is, or all the yolk is separated. There's our third one. Okay, so there's our lights. We're going to set them aside. Okay, we have our yolks. We want three yolks, three eggs, and one and a half cups of sweet milk. So I am going to first... I think sweet milk's going to be like... They want a cup and a half. So we'll do like a tablespoon and a half. I'm out of sugar. And I have like these handy dandy measure multi measurers from Pampered Chef. It doesn't say a half a tablespoon, but one tablespoon is three teaspoons. So that makes a teaspoon and a half or um, half a tablespoon. There we go. Okay, then we got our milk. And they want a cup and a half. Perfect. Okay. Pour that in there. And stir it up real quick just to make sure that, yeah. Sugar is not sticking on the bottom, you know?
There you go. Fine. There you go. And some of the sugar did stick to the bottom. But I'm not too concerned because you know put other stuff in there. And they said to beat the eggs very well. But I only had yolks, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna beat the yolks and the milk together. So instead of a teaspoon of baking soda, it wants you to use four teaspoons of um, baking powder for these pan or for these waffles. And um, so four teaspoons baking powder, and it asks for like another two teaspoons of baking powder as well. So six teaspoons is two tablespoons. That's a lot of baking powder, but you need a lot of baking powder for things to rise right, I guess. There you go. Two tablespoons, yeah. Four teaspoons plus Two teaspoons is six. Yes. And you want Yeah, okay, yeah. So, 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 so. One and a half cups milk. Uh 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 uh. Two cups. So one and three quarter cups. So we're gonna use this two cup measure. One and three quarters cups. And they say gold metal flour, which I have. It's all purpose flour. You can use bread flour too, but it's a quick bread, but I just got all purpose flour. And it says one and three quarters of a cup. Let's see where we're at now. One. That's pretty perfect. It's like on the top. Uh, um, that's like on the top. Okay. Let's get our bowl to dump this in better. Okay. I'm going to scrape the rest out because the milk made it stick to the sides. I'm just putting a pan on like medium or medium low because uh, I'm going to cook some bacon and I just want it to be preheated for me. Okay, so there's the flour. And then we need a half a teaspoon of salt. So here's my Pampered Chef multi-measure again. And I have kosher salt. You can have high dye salt or whatever kind of salt you want. Then. There you go. I just measure it over the sink because any excess that flows over I can just fall in there. And salt is harmless to your drainage system. I have my half a cup. I have my shortening. And you want to pack that in. Kind of good.
Okay, and I kind of just smash it all in there. So like all the air pockets are gone and everything's gone in there. And then you just scrape it out with your spatula. Okay. And then we're going to beat this. It says beat in all this stuff. Let's beat it all in. Now our shortening is being a sucker. And it wants to stick all to these whisk cones or whatever they're called. But we're not going to let it. Let's try this again. And scrape down the sides of our bowl. And just make sure you've got things from underneath. Because you never know if there's just flour or whatever stuck to the bottom. And scrape it all off on your whisk thing. And I'm just using a whisk because um, it's easier transition and it'll get the job done just the same as like if you used a paddle. I mean for this because it's just better. to be light and fluffy anyway and so now I'm just scraping down the sides of my bowl so that everything is evenly incorporated Just give it one last mix. There we go. And the um, shortening is just like tiny, tiny little bits of clumps. That's okay. It all, like, all melts within. Okay. So then I am going to get this other bowl. And I am going to dump all the batter in there.
There we go. There's that. Let's put it over here. And then I'm going to rinse this bowl out. And we're going to whip our egg whites. Okay. And make sure that all of your shortening is gone from the bowl because egg whites will not um, whip up with any fat in them. That's why you take out the um, yolks because the yolks are all protein and egg whites are 90% water. There we go. We're just making sure everything is totally Crisco free. Mm. Here are my whites. Ooh, I forgot one thing. I am going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. Hey, Joe. I think I'll be okay in my whites because I just want a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring in my um, waffles because I think it'll be delicious. And I worked those on high for about just that little bit of time. And it's like soft, soft pink. So I think I want to whip it just a tad more to get more of a medium pink. substance that you're folding into your batter, which it is, is you put a little bit of the whites in with the batter so that you can just prepare it and make it a little bit um, lighter so that it doesn't deflate your egg whites and um, you get nice fluffy waffles and then kind of just folding it around there we go so there's that and then after you fold in some whites to the batter, you throw the batter in with the rest of the whites. There we go. And then we're going to gently fold the egg whites in with the rest of the batter. Be careful not to deflate it 
the merch. And then just in the jelly. Fold it back and forth. So that you're like, it's kind of like a this movement. Where I'm like, you're still creating air not deflating the whipped egg whites that you just created. There we go. So that we have light and fluffy waffles. There we go. There we go. Cool. So now our batter is made. Mm -hmm. I am going to put it into mm, I think this half a cup will work. iron preheated and It's all preheated. I always clean my tools after I use them to always clean. And I should start the bacon. Um, let's see. Yeah. And you just cook bacon. I like it really crispy, so I cook it longer, but you can cook it for however you want. But usually Cook bacon. You open it on. Hold on. Hmm. One second. And we just cut bacon on both sides for about, and then to make it crispy, you do like maybe five minutes each side. You can even flip it back over to the original side, like again, to make sure it's crispy. Flip them and smash them down. And while our bacon is cooking, we can spray it our um, waffle iron. We get the half a cup. And just dump a little into each on the side, which would probably make it about a quarter cup each side. There you go. And then our waffle iron just bakes. And it has this orange and green light. And one of the lights turns off when it's done, so we can just leave that. And then we've got our bacon cooking. And um, then after the bacon cooks, we'll make eggs. 
I got these nifty little things that my mom got me. They're awesome. They hold your eggs in place. So you have a perfect round egg. And um, they uh, aren't really awesome. And they're so fun and they don't stick. And you kind of just, you know, put your eggs in there and then clean it out and flip them over and or do whatever you want with them. Or you can make scrambled eggs and have perfect round eggs like for avocado toast or if you want to put it on a sandwich or something. You know. Oh, maybe it turns back on when it's ready. I'm not sure. I don't think it's ready yet. Turn off. Oh, yeah. It's still got a, like, baked a little out on them. Okay. And. This baking wasn't too very much for me. Oh, Let me turn my heat up to like seven. I'm cooking my bacon on like medium high heat. And I'm cooking my waffles so the light turned on again. Well, I'm still gonna like let those cook a little while longer. Mm, just because I don't want more golden brown. I'm going to um, keep our waffles warm in the toaster oven while everything um, cooks. Okay. And then I'm going to spray again and have a heaping half a cup of batter. Here's one side. Here's the other side. Mm -hmm. Where's my bacon fork? Here we go. And I'm just going to put these back over again. Just to kind of ensure that they're nice and crispy. Yeah, I can see here. I'm like brown on one side. And I am actually going to move this piece over so I get more brown. More cuts to this for some reason, not getting as fun. Okay, and see, that's just enough. And when we dry it around and stop cooking from the greens, they'll be crispy. See how I both sides are golden brown. Okay. And I'm just going to cook this one a little while longer because it didn't get as cooked up. And this one's going to go in here. Okay. So. Yeah. 
some salmon. Now they bring us cooking. Thanks, I'm going to just flatten it out. Some pork. And then this one. Oh, you know, I mean, should be done. Yeah. I think it's going to be done. Hmm, I got a little burnt. No, oh, that's ready. So that's keeping my waffles warm. And that piece of bacon is going to cook. And I am going to put a couple eggs in. So... I'm going to use a little bit of the bacon grease. There we go. And I also like to put some butter in there. Let's see that. Use a little butter for my eggs because I like the buttery things. I'm going to split this piece of butter in half. This is how you cook like over easy at least. Over easy or hard, you know. You can cook them for longer if you want the yolk a little harder in the middle. I like them like softish, over easy, over medium. Let's check on our water. Yeah. Okay, we're going to toss these in there. Okay, and I'm going to stab all these little like, faces in the egg. So it flattens out. And I'm going to season them with salt and pepper. I just have grinders here. Here's a little pepper for you. And then I'm going to get my spatula. Yes. I'm going to get my little spatula. And I'm going to wait till I have kind of warmed up a bit. I'm going to put my bacon because it's time it's brown on the other side. There you go. There we go. And we're going to grab our eggs. And this, this I can just flip it. There you go. And then there's our other egg, and it's more set up. So, so in there. There's that. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and there's still, yeah, my bacon, it's done, so I'm going to flip them over here. And then I'm going to flip my eggs to a plate. And I kind of put that bacon grease around there, so... Eggs, and I'm gonna cook two more eggs with the bacon grease and the butter. Careful, I almost got a shell in there. Yeah. And so, it doesn't get in hot. Okay, and then do a little salt. And a little pepper. And stab the bubbles. There's the waffles, and the bacon is crispy, that's perfect. This one's ready to be flat. Do that. Mm, yeah. That's okay. I kind of just feel the center how hard it's getting. Check those waffles. the bacon on the plate.
Ayan. Where is my remote? I don't know. Oh, it's right here. Okay. And then, you know, you uh, get your waffles. And there is your breakfast with waffles, Belgian waffles, and eggs and bacon. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my videos. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you have any suggestions or questions or recipes you'd like to see, email me at sandranakedchef.llc at gmail.com.